by stationing warships in the region, the United States has taken a precautionary measure to ensure that there is stability. By being a world power, the United States has a responsibility to prevent war. How will stability come from placing nuclear warheads in the reach of common men, women and children? Military presence from an unfriendly state is unwelcomed anywhere in the world. Why should the US and North Korea be any different? By positioning military hardware, the United States is protecting its allies in the region and providing a strategic answer to North Korean war maneuvers. I agree, the US has a duty of care. As the world's leading superpower, they have a responsibility to people everywhere to ensure that the world does not fall into a global conflict. With the weapons arsenal that exists today, we can ill afford to enter into a nuclear war. Margaret Thatcher was a three-time election-winning politician and the first female prime minister that this country has ever had. She led us safely through the Falklands War, oversaw the commercial rise of London and the UK on a global scene, and also inspired countless females to rise to the highest positions in society. Of course, the state should pay for her funeral. Her policies created division and tension, and this has resulted in the protests that we're seeing today. This creates unnecessary security costs, and for that reason, the state should not be paying for her funeral. Politics by its very nature is controversial. She had to make decisions for the benefit of this country and the long-term prosperity of its citizens, us. In the long term, what she brought to this country completely dwarfs what it's costing to pay for her funeral. She may have lived in a time of prosperity, but her policies created the austerity that we're seeing today. She should be accorded all the state honours, yes, but her family is wealthy, so they should pay for her funeral. The death penalty is an act of capital punishment enforced by the state onto individuals who it deems have broken laws with such gravity that their life must be brought to an end. Any state, including India, that enacts the death penalty demeans the rule of law itself and as harbingers of a utopian society, all Sikhs must oppose that. India is a sovereign state and has the right to carry out justice as they see fit. If their legal system has decided after due process that the law has been broken, then they have every right to carry out the sentence their judiciary has ordered. The very sovereignty of a state who, while exerting power over its people, can kill one such citizen in cold blood must be brought into question. A Sikh is the upholder of freedom for all mankind and the extinguisher of totalitarian power. Punishment by death away from the battlefield is not in our psyche. Should Sikhs not then, by the definition of your argument, be opposing death penalty all over the world wherever it is applied and not just be focusing on India?